In this video we will set up a reverse proxy and test connectivity. Ideally you will have two network adapters in your server to implement a reverse proxy. Connections from the internet will come in on the external adapter so the reverse proxy service can be bound to the external adapter only. As the forward proxy is listening on the internal adapter and the reverse proxy is listening on the external adapter we won't get a port conflict and we can separate the two services for access control purposes. We recommend setting up a new www proxy service to use as a reverse proxy. On the bindings tab I'll delete both of the default policies which bind the service to any internal adapter and the localhost adapter and add a new binding policy to bind to any external adapter. Select the web server tab. Leave the default site set to reject the request and add a new site. Enter a site name for your reference. Change the action from reject request to reverse proxy and enter the server name or IP address and port of the web server hosting the site. You should be able to browse to this site from the Wingate server. Now select the hosts tab and enter the host header that external clients will use to browse to the site. In my example that will be reverse.wingate.com. For the purposes of this test I've set a host sentry on my computer that will resolve reverse.wingate.com to the external adapter of my Wingate server. Now we're ready to test. So the page is connected and we can see the connection on the activity panel in the Wingate console. Great, so that's working for HTTP requests. If we want HTTPS requests to work too, we need to add a binding policy and a hosts entry on our site settings for the HTTPS request. So I'm going to add a new binding policy and set the port override to listen on port 443, then I will select a certificate that I've imported for the connection. Ideally, you will have purchased a signed certificate for this. Next, I'll create a new site for the HTTPS request with a host header that will match if the request is an HTTPS request. In this example, we are offloading the SSL connection from the web server to the reverse proxy to ease the burden on the web server. We could make an HTTPS connection to the web server from the reverse proxy if required. Now the HTTPS connection has gone through, so it's working for both HTTP and HTTPS connections, and we can see the secure connection on the activity panel. It is important to secure your WWW proxy when it is bound to an internet facing adapter, otherwise it will function as an open proxy for internet users. I'm going to do this with a web access rule. Uncheck the option in the rule to apply to all proxies and select only the reverse proxy. I'm going to deny access to everyone from everywhere for any request except reverse.wingate.com. Now if I configure my browser to use a proxy and point it at the IP address of my external adapter and try to browse to any other site my request is blocked and I get an error message for an HTTP request or a page load error for an HTTPS request. So that's setting up a reverse proxy. As always, if you have any questions, please contact us on support at wingate.com or visit our website. Thanks for watching. <music>